Well, shalom friends and welcome to House of David. Today it's going to be a special broadcast for you because there's something that is very exciting that is happening with the House of David. Some of you probably heard about this already, but we are going to produce a film, a movie. It's more like documentary movie plus acting some, but about four months ago when we were in COVID, the Lord spoke to me and he told me to do something very special, which is that movie that we're talking about. And today I'd like to explain to you and show you what kind of movie we are going to shoot and what is the purpose. So stay tuned. And let's begin. Well, friends, like I said, about four months ago, the Lord spoke to me through that COVID period of time when we were going through um, to begin to shoot a movie. And uh, that kind of felt into my heart deeply. And I began to research. I never, I never had a movie uh, made. Uh, we are in, on television. We are on television for over 20 years. But movie is totally different industry. And I said, Lord, what kind of a movie you want us to, what kind of film you want us to produce? And the Lord reminded me about the beginning of our ministry after we came from New York City as we were missionaries in 1991 to 1993, uh, building a Messianic congregation they're helping to build. Then our visa was over and we have to go back to Canada. And uh, well, we used to live originally in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. That's where we started our life in Canada. And that's where God called us to the ministry out. But after we were driving from New York, we didn't know where we were going. And the Lord directed us to go to Alberta. Alberta and Edmonton. We knew a couple of people there. And of course, we ended up there not knowing why and what we are going to do there in Alberta and uh, it was a winter time it was difficult and well we were not in the country for about two years uh, we were legally in US under visa but the visa was over but when you are not in the country you don't have the address and if you don't have the address you don't have a job so there's two things that we needed to find out where are we going to live and how are we going to get a job? Because nobody wanted to give us a place to rent without having income, without having a job. And nobody was willing to give us a job without having an uh, address. So we were kind of a, uh, stuck in the middle in those days and we didn't know what to do. Uh, we could have go, go many uh, other ways going around but we didn't feel we didn't want to do that and we begin to pray and ask God what to do we didn't have a place to stay so the Lord provided for us miraculously a house in the woods and that was um, past Spruce Grove past Stony Plain still go keep going and then you're making a left turn to Kipiel's area. Kipiel's, those who live in Alberta or in um, actually Edmonton's area, you know what I'm talking about, Kipiel's. And then you have to take a uh, country road or forest road right into the woods where that house was. It was a nice large house, empty. Well, there was furnished. It was furnished. Somebody used to live there before, but now it was totally vacant. It was, uh, I don't know, uh, belonging to a farmer there. And uh, that person it was a believer going to that congregation in Edmonton. And he said, well, why don't you live there for a while until you're going to find a job, until you're going to 
uh, put children to school, at least that'll be the beginning for you. Well, we did not know what God was doing in our life because we were called to the ministry in 1991. Now that was 1993, two years later. And we were struggling with that, with this idea. My wife, she was crying. I was in shock. I did not understand what is going on, that we have received this place in the woods, in the middle of nowhere. Winter time, we, of course, we placed our children to school. Now we had a, 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 an address, but um, I begin to look for work. Uh, where are you going to find a job in the forest? I mean, <laughs> it was not easy. And I did not understand what was going on. But the truth of the matter is, what was really happening is God called us to the ministry in 1991. And we stepped out by faith. But you know, like Abraham, he stepped out by faith and it says that he did. But in the next chapter, he ran away to Egypt because the place where God brought him was, that was famine there. Similar things happened to us, and uh, we were in the house. The house was warm, furnished. Uh, these precious farmers, they were supplying us with food because they knew that we have no money for now. We have uh, nothing. And that's where God began to touch my life and my wife's life. We did not realize that uh, God has brought us to this um, solitary, isolated place in the woods. It was beautiful. There was trees all around and there were uh, quietness, such a quietness that we've never experienced before or after. I mean, we were in New York City for about two years, 24 hours, seven days a week, there's noise. And now we are in quietness. So God actually brought us to this place because he has called us to the ministry to acquaint ourselves with his presence. Why? Because it is through his presence and through spending time with God, we are introduced to a real prayer where we begin to receive the download from heaven of his anointing, of his wisdom, the exchange of his wonderful fruit of the Spirit is happening only in that kind of a place and condition and situation when you pray like that, not just five minutes prayer, but spending time with God. So God had to bring us to the place where he would train us how to pray, how to be in the presence of God and how to receive from God that impartation that we needed so much for our further ministry. Yes, I didn't know how long we we're going to be staying in that place, but it took about six months to God to unveil everything and to impart and impact us with all the things that we need that we needed for the ministry and actually that touch of God has kept us in our ministry alive up to this day. Of course, it's all Christ, it's all, it's all Messiah, it's all Jesus, but he said, without me, you can do nothing. And this experience has impacted our lives so deeply. We've seen revivals, we've seen miracle meetings, we've seen the power of God, a lot of people being touched across Canada and everywhere else as the result of what, what God has done. You see, we didn't want anything fake. We didn't want anything of the flesh and God didn't want that either. So God had to deal with us and touch us by His Spirit so it will be His uh, power, it will be His glory, it will be His will, desire, His voice to be spoken and so on. I'm not going to uh, give away to you everything what has happened um, during this period of time of six months as being there. But again, let's get back to the movie. I want to show you some pictures and I'm going to be showing you soon why is because, well, as God began to speak to me in April yet, 
uh, while we're going through COVID about this film, I begin to research, I begin to uh, find out what kind of equipment we need for that. And, you know, with the budget that we have, we would like to work with the best way it possibly can and the, the least expensive but professional way. So all the calculations and all the things that we need with renting and everything else and all the equipment and all things that we need. We're going to have five people crew with us. Our budget is, believe it or not, <laughs> believe it or not, and it's going to be the powerful uh, uh, hand of God upon this, I'm sure. It's $10,000. This budget, on my calculations, on my page that I calculate with, is $10,000. Now, equipment is included. People are included that will be, some will be volunteering, of course, including my wife, of course, she'll be there. And, um, but we need to rent a space. And I was looking for a place here in Quebec where can we shoot the movie uh, similar to what we had. Of course, we cannot produce winter there, so we forget about the winter time. But the main point of that is, is the forest, the isolated place, the house and the way God ministered to us and raised us up. So we were looking for quite a while and uh, everything was not available for filming. So we're looking for a camp and uh, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, we're walking out from our congregation, from the meeting, from a service on Saturday. And one of our comers, she's talking to a person and that person doesn't look like very, you know, uh, you know, it, 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 according, well, I thought that that person is from the street, actually. And she says, Rabbi, look at this. Uh, uh, talk to this man. I said, do you speak English? He says, yeah, I speak English. I begin to explain to him. He says, listen, we have a camp about an hour away, an hour and a half away from Montreal. It's a Christian camp, camp called Penuel. And Penuel in Hebrew is the face of God. <laughs> well... <laughs> And they said, they'll be more than happy to come and date you. So my wife and I, we went the next day on Sunday, we were there and we met the camp director and we talked to him and we saw the place and we really liked the place. And my goodness, when we saw, he says, it's available, it will be available for you to tape. By the way, the dates that we are going to film that are scheduled for now, for sure, it's the beginning of that is September the 14th. So we're going to be mon uh, taping eight hours a day from eight to five, something like that, Monday through Friday and Friday night we leave. So we pray to God that in these five days we are going to be able to tape all the things that we need. And I need your prayer and I need your support. And uh, in a moment, you're going to see the pictures and uh, actually probably you probably see them now. All the pictures that I'm showing you, we, you, my wife and I, we took pictures there when we were there just to look at them again. And I'd like to show you these pictures of this camp where we are going to shoot that movie. It's a beautiful place. It's not, not far from the lake. But we don't need the lake. There was no lake there. We need forest. We need country road. We need uh, sideway road, something like that. We need, uh, we're going to be shooting at night, uh, in the morning, during the day, uh, because different scenes. And my script is almost ready. Because as soon as God began to speak to me about this film to make, He began to download me. Um, the information about the script. Well, I remember what happened to us. So I more like knew what the story is all about. But the script is different. You have to uh, put the segments and uh, the, every segment has uh, takes and every take is supposed to have a scene that w which way the camera is going to be looking, the turns and the, the, the text, the voice, voice over and so on, and the music and everything else in the editing production after that. So. I've learned all, the, all these things from professional point of view and now we're almost ready. The equipment is ready, uh, all the cranes, camera, dolly, microphones, lightings, and now we have the camp that is ready. The camp that is ready. Well, uh, 
the budget, like I said, for all these things, with including the rents and, and, and equipment and people that will be shooting there and helping us, some of them will be volunteers, some of them we're going to pay. It's the squeezed budget, but it's good. $10,000 budget to do this film. I believe that this film is going to touch many, many people's life because through COVID and through all this turmoil that we're going through today in this world, people, many people were withdrawn from God's presence. They were under pressure. We were not able to meet in the churches. And you know, when the spiritual life stops like this, when you have no encouragement, it can go down very quickly. And this is why probably that's my um, calculation, but I don't know the exact reason why God has, has spoken to me and told me to do this movie, but I'm sure that God is going to use it. And a lot of people are going to be touched and blessed. I don't know, maybe it's the next phase of our ministry as television ministry, we don't know. But this movie is all about God. It's all about Jesus. And uh, I will be the only actor there because we, you know, it's, it's about our, my experience with God. So it's going to be between me, narrator, scenes, music, and story. It's going to be a movie-like type film, document, documentary movie type film. But we, we're trying to make this more as a movie. So I'll be talking and I'll be acting and uh, it's going to be natural and the anointing will hit that movie. I know and a lot of people when they will be watching this movie, uh, they are going to be touched and blessed. I'm telling you, they are going to be touched and blessed. We're planning to finish uh, uh, shooting in September, of course, but uh, by the time we're going to edit the whole thing, it's going to take us a, a couple of months. So we're planning to release we believe in God that God will help us to release this movie in January. It's going to be available on DVDs. Uh, we're going to probably show this movie on Vision TV, on my programming, but I think it's going to be more than 30 minutes movie. We'll see what's going to happen. And also we're going to promote this movie. We don't know which and how far, in which way God is going to take this movie and what he's going to do with this. But we need your help. You know, we need your help. Uh, 10,000 is not a big deal. If we could have 100 people that would give us extra, $100. If you're watching our program today and you can afford extra $100 for this project, please give us a call. And we are building this budget, so it's going to be aside from any other television production, but this budget is separate. So when you're going to be calling us, please specify this is for the film budget. If you write in a check and in a moment, in a couple of minutes, you're going to see our full address, mailing address on your screen. Be ready, write down that address and uh, send your check if you can. You see, if we're going to have a hundred people with a hundred dollars given extra to this project, it's going to be amazing. Again, when you write in a check on your memo, on a check, Please write down, this is for film project, film project, amen. But maybe we can get 10 people right away that could give a thousand dollars gift. And uh, we accept credit cards, of course, you can call us and donate or write to us. It's going to be done. But I'm sure across this large country as we have, Canada, or if you're watching us in US, it's fantastic. Please help us. We can meet this budget easy, very easily. Uh, $10,000 film is not a big budget. We're not asking for 10 million. No, it's only $10,000. And I'm sure people be able to give. By the way, I just want to mention this, that I have a person that already uh, contacted me and they say that uh, 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 in, they are given a thousand dollars pledge to that so now we need nine thousand but if you would be able to do it with a hundred dollars fifty dollars or a thousand dollars or five hundred dollars i'm sure we can meet the budget very easily and i depend on you i trust god because 
Whatever God is telling me to do, He is not telling me to do because I have money. He is not telling me to do because I am a millionaire. No, uh, totally on the opposite. We always do things by faith. We trust in God. We are in the full-time ministry since 1991, so it's going to be 30 years next year. 30 years full-time, and we never had to uh, create a business source for that. No, God didn't ta tell us to do that. From the beginning, from 1991, all the way till today, everything that we're doing, we've done a lot of miracle meetings across this country. I've traveled a lot. We're doing television production for over 20 years. We're doing our congregation. It's a small, but we're doing our ministry here. And it's all being done by faith. All supported by viewers and people, the partners that are with us. It's all being done by God, by our Lord Jesus, our Messiah. You know, and this is amazing how God never let us down because He has beautiful people, faithful people that are interested to see the gospel being proclaimed and going forward for His glory until He comes until he comes. Well, we got about five minutes left, and I'd like to pray with you, and I'd like continually to encourage you. Again, at the end, you will see our address, full address on your screen. Get your pen and paper ready. Now, the, the phone number is here. You can call us right now, and I would really appreciate if you would do this now. We need this uh, budget to meet, and uh, I'm sure God is going to provide. So let me pray for you. Father, in the mighty name of Yeshua, Jesus, I, I give you the praise, I give you the glory, and I thank you for touching people's lives. Lord, I thank you for every partner that is uh, standing with us spiritually, financially, prayerfully. I thank you, Lord God, for your mighty glory and power over their life, that they are not only being fed through this ministry, but they also support in this ministry. I thank you, Lord God, for your people that have the heart toward this work that you have called. And Father, I pray that you will raise up this Gideons, this army, that will bring this $10,000 budget for the film that you have called us and told me to do. And I praise you for that. I praise you for that. And I trust in you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. A few minutes left. Give us a call. If you need an additional prayer uh, um, request, uh, call us. We'll pray with you, of course. We'll pray with you. Keep us in your prayer. It's from the 14th of September to the 19th of September. This five days we are going to shoot the film. We'll be very busy every day, 8 to 5 if we shoot uh, scenes that need to be shot during the day, but some scenes in that movie. By the way, uh, um, when I begin to pray and when God begin to s impact my life, it was a midnight, I remember the devil stood right bes behind me. And we will, portray, we will put this in the movie. I, I really felt the evil presence. And when I turned around, it, it, it was, <laughs> I saw his silhouette. I saw the dark silhouette standing and looking at me because he didn't like what God was doing in our life. And God has given me the power. I rebuked that devil there at the time. God was training me in many ways, in many different ways, and my wife as well. Like I said, the result of our ministry that is today, running and touching people's lives, was impacted in that place in Keep Hills. And I, I just want to thank God for he, for everything He has done. Thank God that He has introduced us to His presence, to His anointing, to His power. You see, anointing is not being taught. It's being caught. And only God can bring that to you. Only God can give you that experience. But God can only give this experience only to the people that are open, that know how to be there, know how to receive that, you cannot receive this out of nowhere without doing anything. It just happens. No, you have to be in the presence of God. It's a process to be taken. And this film will teach and present 
how it happened to me and how it can happen to many today in a real way, in a real powerful way of God. So call us today. $10,000 is not a big deal. I'm sure we can make it. I'm sure we can do it. And I'm sure God is able to do it through you. Thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate it. If you're not a partner of this ministry, would you become one today? And in appreciation, we will send you our monthly magazine in the booklet form. Yes, it's about eight pages, ten, eight pages a magazine that I put my best teachings of the months that I present on television or elsewhere. And we put this together and send it to people for free. For free as our appreciation for their help not just for this movie project and film project but to be to be in on the air um, period just constantly all the time to be on the air and continue to bring the ministry the gospel of Jesus through this airwaves through this television station so thank you so much we appreciate it and thank you so much for your extra gift toward this powerful project. And the film is, be, is going to be called The Encounter. God bless you and we appreciate you for everything you're doing now. Call us right now and bless us and help us to finish this project. God bless you. Thank you and Shalom. Thanks for joining us today on House of David. We're so glad that you have been a part of this show. To show our appreciation, we would like to send you our monthly House of David magazine for free. Each month, Pastor Gennady chooses a message and sends it to you for you to enjoy. This monthly message is full of insights and is easy for you to read and to share. So call or write today. Or visit us online at www.houseofdavidministry.org and ask for your free copy of the House of David monthly magazine. And when you call, please consider becoming a seed sowing partner to help us keep this show on the air and to continue to spread the gospel around the world. We look forward to hearing from you. Call today.